Hello my dear students. Hope you all are fine. Welcome back to my English class. I am Mrs. Anju Sharma. Today I am here again with the poem which is followed by chapter number 11 of your new Malbury book. The name of the poem is The Mountain and the Squirrel. And this video is The Mountain and the Squirrel Part 2. In our previous video class, we have studied about the poem, its author, word meanings and we have recited the poem. And today, I'll explain the poem line-wise. So let us enjoy the poem. The poem is in the form of a conversation and a conversation is taking place between the mountain and the squirrel. The mountain and the squirrel had a quarrel. Children, it is an argument. And see, what is the argument? Listen to it very carefully so that you will come to know how a mountain is talking to the squirrel and how the squirrel is replying in back. So, the poem begins with the speaker des describing how a mountain and a squirrel got into an argument. Now children, put up your hands. Can you tell me how many fingers do you have in your hand? Well, five. Does every finger look alike? Same? Does it look like same? No. The thumb. The thumb is different from the pointed finger and the pointed finger is different from the middle finger, so on. So, all the five fingers are necessary for us. Nothing can be replaced in this world. Do you think? Any finger is less important than the other? No. So, everything has its own importance. So, what happened? The mountain and the squirrel had a quarrel. And the former called the letter Little Prick. One day, the mountain and the squirrel had a fight. And the former, former means the first of the two. And the letter, the second of the two, called a little prick, means a person who behaves as if he or she is superior to others. Here, former is the mountain and the letter is the squirrel. The former mountain called the squirrel small and tiny. The mountain called the squirrel little prick. Prig means, which means a person who is very narrow-minded. Bun replied, you are doubtless very big. Bun means, bun means a pet name for a squirrel. Or we use bun for rabbit also. Bun replied that no doubt you are very huge, you are very big. And I know I am so small. But, but all sorts of things and weather must be taken in together to make a year and a sphere. Now, in, this, in these lines, but single mountain cannot do, can, but single mountain cannot make, cannot make a complete word. But single mountain cannot make a world, cannot make a sphere. Even I have a place in this sphere to write. Uh, I have I have a place in this sphere and right to live in this world. Like all the seasons combined to make one year. Similarly, all the creatures, big or small, together complete nature. Now, squirrel continue that and I think it is it no disgrace to occupy 
my place. If I am not so large as you, you are not so small as I and not half so spry. Now here, squirrel thought that there is no shame to occupy his place on the mountain just as the mountain is large, with large role to play. The squirrel is small with an equal role to play. He called himself spry. Spry means active as he can move quickly from place to place in a way the mountain never dreamt of. At last, Squirrel continued that, I will not deny, I will not deny you make a very pretty squirrel track. At last, Squirrel continued that I will not deny you make a pretty, uh, you make a pretty track. Talents differ, all is well and wisely put. God has put all the creatures in its proper place and all of them carry different talent. Therefore, we should not underestimate any creature on the basis of their size. If I cannot carry forest on my back, neither can you crack a nut. The talent of both the mountain and the squirrel contrasts greatly. If the squirrel cannot carry the forest on its back, even the mountain cannot crack a nut. So, therefore, none is superior or inferior in this world. So, children, what is the moral of this poem? Everyone in this world has their own talent. Nothing in this world is superior, world is superior or inferior. We all are important in our own way. Everyone in this world have their own talent. Nothing in this world is superior or inferior. We all are different. God has made each one of us different. We all are unique in his hand. Remember, never ever compare yourself to others. Never ever compare yourself to others. I think children, you have understood the poem very well. Children, please watch the video class at least twice or thrice so that you can understand the poem very well. And in part 3, we will discuss the question answers. Thank you children for watching the video till the end. Bye. We'll meet soon. Okay, thank you.